Hi. A common question that I've been asked uh, in my experience as a vet is uh, how much should I feed my dog? And this can range from, you know, from puppies to adult dogs to different life stages and things like that. So I'm going to answer this in a way which I hope you will understand. So a common question is how much should I feed my dog? And a lot of people, you know, they ask that questions because of all the different sort of food that they feed and sometimes they go by recommendation by uh, somebody else like the dog breeder, the pet shop owner, uh, their vet, um, what they read online and, uh, and sometimes they even go through the sort of a recommendation by the packaging itself. Every bag of food has a little sort of recommended feeding and they say that, oh, yeah, you know, I'm, I'm feeding this really. So uh, the question is how much you feed a dog, okay? A better question to ask, okay, to answer that question, uh, because that is a simple question with a very complicated answer, but a better question to ask is, what is my dog's body condition? Okay, so what do I mean by that? A body condition is how, uh, what does your dog, uh, how fit is your dog physically, so to speak, in terms of uh, what it looks like. So we usually we gauge it to one to nine. There are various body condition scores out there for, for this purpose. I'm gonna use the one which I commonly use is one to nine. So one is emaciated, nine is grossly obese, okay? So what you're wanting to aim at is five in the middle. So it's not too skinny, but not too fat either. So what does five look like? Okay, so five looks like if you are looking at the dog from the top, okay? You cannot see, uh, sorry, you can see the chest and the waist, a distinction between the chest and narrowing down to the waist, okay? So it is not cigar shape or torpedo shape, okay? Okay, so another way to gauge is when you look at the dog from the side, okay? So if the head is here, the backside is here, you see a chest going in with a little tummy tuck rather than going horizontal both top and bottom, which may indicate that the belly may be a little bit overhanging, uh, indicating a higher body condition. And when you feel the ribs, you don't really want to see the ribs really. If you see the ribs, you know, it may be a little too skinny, but you should be able to feel the ribs quite easily with a very thin layer of fats in between your fingers and the ribs. So those sort of, uh, uh, so those are the signs you watch out for and that would be uh, indicating that if your dog has all those sort of th three different um, bits whereby you see from the top, the side, and you can feel the ribs, okay, it well could indicate our friend here has a body condition of five out of nine, which is ideal. Um, this applies to dogs from all shapes and sizes and pretty much all ages as well, okay? So this is much better than a number of how much food should I feed my dog or how much should my dog weigh, okay? Because with this, it is a bit more accurate because it goes to each individual dog, even within the same species. Example, two two-year-old Vizilas may have got very different weight, but of the right body condition. It's just almost like me asking a question of how much should my dog weigh. It's almost like asking how much, uh, it's like me trying to gauge how much does a five foot six woman weigh. God forbid, everybody's frame is different, everybody's shape is different. So that, with that in mind, then you can find out how much you feed your dog. The question is, what you're feeding your dog is attaining, is getting that body condition right now. So if it's too little, okay, as in you can see the ribs, you gotta feed more. If it's too much, you can't see from the top, you can't see a chest and a waist and you just see a cigar shape, you're feeding too much, okay? So you have to gauge the food according to what your individual dog needs, okay, to get it to the right body condition. And that, once you get to the body condition five, okay, and that is probably the ideal weight of your dog and that should give you a better gauge of how to manage your diet of a dog as time goes by. I hope you found this useful. Comment below. What do you think your body's condition, uh, what do you think your dog's body condition score is? One is emaciated, nine is grossly obese, five is ideal. I hope to see you in the next event. This is Amity.